Bruce Arians won't be coaching the Tampa Bay Bucks this season. Um, he has moved on up to the front office. Um, there's been a lot of speculation that uh, Tom Brady potentially told the owners of the Bucks the only way I come back is if we move him around. And that's what they did. And that's why Tom is now unretired. And, you know, he gave Todd Bowles the ranks, which I love. I hope um, Tampa goes far so teams can see a black coach being productive. You know, even, you know, even making a Super Bowl appearance. You know, I think we'll do him and um, Byron Leftwich some, some good. You know, because it's like, bro, we getting it done. Granted, we got one of the greatest quarterbacks, but we're getting the shit done. Like, come on, man. The three years he's been here, we possibly two Super Bowls and one divisional playoff appearance where we barely lost. You know, if it wasn't for blown a blown assignment and they gave up a 50-yard passing catch. So... I you know I hope for Todd Bowles and and uh, Byron Leftwich they do well. But what's your take on it? I didn't think about it like that, um, so to speak. Because now that you say that, like if right, we talk about getting aging and and um, and, and injuries and stuff. If Brady gets hurt or Brady has that age fall off at, at his age now, right? That could also be bad for those guys because, like, you know, what I mean, there's high expectations, and if they go nine and eight and miss the playoffs, that could be, you know, it's like, man, you couldn't, you couldn't win with Tom Brady. And the thing is, it could be like, no, nah, Tom Brady just had a bad year. He had 28 touchdowns and 21 interceptions or something like that. But right. it, it could, it could reflect on them. Um, so everyone who says that they met and knows. Uh, Bruce Arians says that he's a great guy. He's great yeah. energy. He's fun to, you know, he, I don't know, whatever. He seems he seems like that kind of guy that appraise you when you're right, but also kick you in the butt when you're wrong. If you're a you kicker, know? he'll kick you. Yeah. Uh, but, but no. yeah, like, <laughs> no, he did. He, he kicked a kicker and he, sorry, I got like a thing flying. That was my Urban head. Meyer, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did slap a player. He still slapped yeah. a player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For pulling a guy out the pile, which could have been a penalty. Yeah. Um, the thing is, everything you see on TV, though, is like he's that guy who will – he called out Brady in the media before. He's called out Brady. Be like, no, nah, yeah, we lost them games. Uh, Tom Brady ain't playing that well. Uh, he was supposed to make that throw, and he didn't. And then one time he forgot it was fourth down and thought it was fifth down. and it was, Yeah, that one time uh, in Chicago. Yeah, so he is that guy. Um, and I think – you know, maybe who knows? Maybe Brady didn't like that. Everyone says that it's not true. Everyone who knows Bruce Aaron's like, nah, that, that didn't happen. He truly wanted to. They said, don't you care about going to the Hall of Fame and all that stuff? And he said, you know, I don't care about the Hall of Fame. Um, people are like, yeah, that's why we love him so much. He just cares about, you know, he he wanted the next guy up to succeed, and and he said his whole point was to succeed and and to to move up to the front office. That's what he always wanted was to move up to the front office and all. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, dude, if you love football though, like who, who says I don't care about the hall of fame right now? I know we just said T.O. doesn't, but clearly the rest of these guys do. So right. to say that is very interesting. And I, I think he knew he wasn't going to make the hall of fame. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't really care about it, but I don't want to say nothing bad about him because, like I said, everyone who knows him seems to say that he's this great guy. So I'm going to roll with that. But um, this guy did meet with the owner. Well, I say that. So they said that the owner wasn't there when he went over and, and was hosted in, in his booth, you know, watching uh, the the goat of soccer play a couple weeks ago. He said that the owner wasn't there. It was Brady and his family. They got to go there, whatever, blah, blah. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe they didn't talk about this then and all. But – Either way, I don't know, man. Just the timing of it and, and everything. Like, do you really believe that he was going to step down if Brady hadn't come back? I just – the timing seems really off and weird about think, it. But Yeah, I think it was very – All I do is take his word it for a, it. It was a decision that was not left up to him. Put it that way. 
that was like, I'm just going to take his word for it and all their word for it. I, you know, listen, I don't believe it, but I don't, I don't really have enough evidence not to believe it. I think, I think we both can agree. He made this decision, but it wasn't really his decision. <laughs> he was like, look, either you do this or you're fired or something, you know, or you ain't working for us no more. I think that's yeah, what it I, was. I mean, yeah, it's interesting because we've never seen really a football player, right? It's happened in NBA all the time. We, we haven't really seen a football player. It just happened with Brad team. Stevens. Right, but we, we haven't seen a football player put together his own team before until Brady, really. That's not that's something new we'd seen. But we've never seen a football player put pick his own coach. And uh, that this that's what makes this very interesting is like now this guy has enough power to be like, I'm coming back for one year. And uh, we're going to revamp the team all around me. That's crazy because you know you got you you know you got star power in the building when you're willing to, if, if all this is true, uh, you know to to move that many pieces around just for one guy to come back. That's that's pretty incredible. 